Hey everybody, Tim Brzezinski here. If you are a teacher who is interested in assigning GeoGebra activities directly to Google Classroom, you're going to want to watch this video, okay? Uh, I just want to show you something here. There is a difference between a GeoGebra activity versus a GeoGebra book. Right here we have a single GeoGebra activity, right? It's got four GeoGebra apps in it and students here, for example, have to change digits here to make a pair of complementary and supplementary angles, if that makes sense, okay? So I can assign this directly to Google Classroom right here by hitting Assign Google Classroom. And once everything is synced up, right? Just give it a second. There we go, got to sign in. So if you are a teacher who is interested, hey everybody, Tim Brzezinski here. If you're a teacher who is interested in assigning GeoGebra activities directly to Google Classroom, you're not going to want to miss this video. It's worth, your, it's worth watching. All right, so um, right here I have a GeoGebra activity, okay? Right here I have what we call a GeoGebra book. A book is a collection of activities. It has more than one, it has multiple, right? So for a single, if you have a single GeoGebra activity shown, you can go ahead and hit a sign up here and directly assign it to Google Classroom, no problem. I go to Google Classroom and I, once uh, the thing pops up, I can change the title if I want and I can choose the classes to which I want to assign this particular task. I could save it as a draft and hit done. It'll assign it directly to Google Classroom, okay? However, if you are in a book, okay, the one word of caution I wanna give you is that if you are in a book, see how this, act, this same activity right here is found in GeoGebra book. It's found among this whole collection of hundreds of activities right here. If you hit assign Google Classroom now, it's actually gonna make a Google Classroom for the whole book and you don't wanna do that, okay? Um, GeoGebra is fixing the workflow to this, okay? It just hasn't been fixed yet, but it is coming. So in order to circumvent that, what you wanna do, instead of assigning the whole book of thousands of activities to Google Classroom, what you wanna do is click on the three dots up here and go to details. All right, quick workaround. Uh, click the three dots, go to details. Okay, you'll go to the details page for this activity. Go to view activity. And now you have the single activity itself that is now outside of the book. So now it is safe to assign to Google Classroom and you're A-OK -okay here, right? I can choose to it and otherwise it's gonna assign the whole book which you don't want. Pick the classes you want and you get what I'm saying. All right, now. So there are some times you may want to assign a whole book here. For example, there, here is a one open middle problem where every part, every, where all the problems in here are, are tasks for a single book that's very small. Okay, so if that's the case, what you want to do is make sure you're literally highlighted right up here in, for the whole book, and I'm going to assign this whole book to Google Classroom. So you only want to assign a whole book to Google Classroom if all the activities want to be assigned. If you, have, if you want to assign only an activity that's one of many, many activities in a book, you want to do that workaround I showed you to go to the three dots, go to details, hit view activity. All right, just wanted to throw that out there. GeoGebra is going to fix the workflow issue there, uh, but in the meantime, that's how you circumvent it.